Hello student, how are you all? Hope you all are fit and healthy. Chapter 11, Area and its Boundary We completed all these problems and everything. Now today I am going to explain you, test yourself and let's do homework. So concentrate here. See this our MCQs are given here. Choose the correct alternatives for each question and write the correct option in the box. So these are question is given here. According to this question, we have to choose some correct answer with A, B, C and D. And then after we have to write the correct answer in this box. So see the first question. What is the area of the given square? Given square area that we have to find out. And you have to use the scale and you will get the 4 square centimeter. See, I am explaining you. Length is 2 centimeter. Okay. And then after this is a square, so breadth also 2 centimeter and the 4 side is equal. So what we have to do here, first see the measurement and write the measurement here. So length and breadth and all side is 2 centimeter square centimeter so we have to find out the area so what is the area formula student length multiply with breadth so 2 multiply with 2 is equal to 4 square centimeter so b1 is right and right here b in a box what is the perimeter of the square having length of 9 centimeter if 9 centimeter is length and this is square this question you have to notice this is a square so length is 9 cm so breadth also 9 cm because a square have four sides equal so length and breadth is 9 cm and you have to find out the perimeter so what is the formula of perimeter 2 multiply with length plus breadth so 9 plus 9 is equal to 18 and 18 multiply with 2 so 36 cm a1 is right what is the perimeter of a rectangle having length of 25 centimeter and breadth is 19 centimeter? So again this two put in a formula of a perimeter to multiply length plus breadth. So this you have to plus and to the multiply. So you will get 88 centimeter. So write here C. What is the area of a rectangle having length of 32 cm and the breadth is 17 cm? So this is rectangle here we have going to find out the area. So area formula is length multiply with breadth. So 32 multiply with 17. You will get 544 square centimeter. Here square centimeter because we are finding area. So 5 144 square centimeter after this to multiply we will get so this is the right answer right here a if one figure cover 33 complete square on a graph paper then area of that figure is dash square centimeter here you have to notice student if one figure complete 33 3 complete square on a figure so this is called perimeter 33 is perimeter is given here and then after see this is this is 33 is a complete on a graph paper graph paper may complete way 33 square centimeter that means 33 is not perimeter it's a area how that I am going to tell you the because in a graph paper square Square मतलब graph paper के अंदर जितने area है, जितने box है, उसको complete करने में 33, तो that is 33 is our square. Then the area of that figure is 33. So 33 is our area. Okay. So D1 is right and right here answer. Now see the, let's do homework, page number 158. First number is calculate the complete the table. This table is given here. Here is shape and the length and breadth and perimeter and area. Somewhere we are going to find out the length, some breadth and some perimeter and somewhere area. So let's see first one. Square. Square is given the length is 10 centimeter. So remember this thing. 
I explained you many times square all the four side have equal. So 10 is a length so breadth also 10 centimeter. Now this is length and breadth we got. So we have to we are going to find out the perimeter. So perimeter formula is student 2 multiply with length plus breadth. So length plus breadth is 10 plus 10 20 a multiply with 2. So 20 multiply with 2 40 centimeter is perimeter. Now we have to find out area. And area formula is a student. Area ka formula kya hai? Breadth multiply with length. So 10 multiply with 10 is equal to 100 centimeter. 100 square centimeter because this is area. Now see the second one. This is rectangle shape. And this shapes also you have to understand because somewhere is square, somewhere is rectangle. So rectangle have only two side equal, not the four side equal. Four side equal, that's called square. So rectangle length is given 8 cm and the breadth also given the 7 cm. Now perimeter. So put on perimeter formula. That is 2 multiply with length plus breadth. Length plus breadth 7 and 8, 15 multiply with 2. So 30 cm. And then area, area is simple rules, 7 multiply with 8, length multiply with breadth. So 7, 8s are or 8, 7s are 56 square centimeter. Now see the third one, square, 15 centimeter and 15 centimeter. This we have to find out. Only the perimeter is given here. Perimeter and if you are going to find out the length, so all the square have four sides, the perimeter divide with four. So you will get the length, length or breadth. So if you got the length, so breadth also 15. If breadth is 15, so length also is equal because the square have four sides equal. So 60 divide with four. So this is the length formula. So 15, 60 divide with four. 15 so 15 centimeter is length so equal breadth also same 15 centimeter and area you have to find out so area formula is length multiply with breadth so length is 15 centimeter and breadth also is 15 centimeter so this you will get 225 square centimeter now see the rectangle rectangle here only breadth is given here and area is given here perimeter or Length हम लोग को find out करना है. Rectangle है, इसलिए breadth 9 cm है, तो length 9 cm नहीं होगा. Because this is rectangle. Only two side is equal. So, area is given here. So, what we have to do? We have to find out the length and then breadth. Now, this is the simple thing. You all know what is the formula of area. Area का क्या formula है? Length multiply with breadth. So, if कितने से 9 को multiply करे कि 90 आता है. So first what we have to do, we, have, we are going to find out the length. So length formula क्या होता है? कि length is equal to area divide with breadth. ये length का formula है. Area divide with breadth. So 19 divide with 9, you will get 10 cm. So this is length. You will get length. So now only the perimeter you have to find out. So 2 multiply length plus breadth. 9 plus 10, 19 and multiply with 2, 38 centimeter. Now see the square. Square also find out, you have to find out only the area is given here. So area is given here. So length formula, again we have to put out 144 square centimeter. So the same rule. That 144 have to which number we have to divide it will come the same the length and breadth. So 12 multiply with 12. If you multiply 12 ko 12 ke saath mein multiply karne se 144 you will get. So 12 length and 12 breadth. And then after put on perimeter formula. If you are going to find out the perimeter. So 2 multiply with length plus breadth. Length. 12 plus 12, 12 to the 24 and 24, 12 plus 12 that means 24 and multi 24 multiply with 2 so 48 centimeter is your perimeter.
8 cm is your perimeter. Now see this is rectangle. Okay. 15 cm length is given here. Perimeter is given here. You have to find out the area and breadth. So length is given here and the perimeter is already here. So first find out the see here this is a rectangle remember this this is not a square so you will divide with this and you will get the breadth so this is not this is rectangle and here you have to find out the breadth then after area so what is the formula of breadth when it is rectangle so let's see here perimeter is equal to 2 length plus breadth the, we all know and the perimeter is given here 40 cm so perimeter is equal to and 2 15 cm length also given breadth we have we are going to find out it so 40 cm is equal to 2 here 2 so we are multiplying so 2 multiply with 15 and 2 multiply with breadth also so 2 multiply with 50 plus 2 multiply with breadth so 40 cm is equal to 2 15 is a 30 and then 2 breadth now 40 and 30 both are centimeters so both will come together so when it will come this side here will come a minus subtraction sign so 40 subtract with 30 centimeters is equal to 2 breadth 10 centimeter will come 40 ko 30 se subtract karen se kitne ho get 10 so 10 centimeter then after 2 breadth and then 10 centimeter divide with 2 thus ko to say divide karne se breadth will come so 5 cm is breadth so this formula you have to understand when the rectangle will come and the perimeter is given and then after length is given on one side breadth or length only one side is given breadth here length koi bhi ek side diya hua hoga dusre side hum logo find out karna ho to is type ke formula mein hum logo put karna padta and then after you are you will find the breadth Okay, so breadth is 5 cm. Now write here 5 cm is breadth. Then after length breadth you got. So area, put the formula of area. 15 multiply with 5. Length multiply with breadth. So 75 square cm is your area. Now see the second number. Answer the following question from the figure given below. You can see this is the figure is given here. Okay, here is a ground. Then after ground inside the path, path means rasta or road. And then after inside is a garden. This is, is a boundary of a ground. Then after this, in between this area is called path. Path means jane ka rasta. And this is, is a garden. Okay. Area of a 1 square centimeter is equal to 1 square centimeter. Meter. Now what you have to do here, first find out the measurement of the ground, path and the garden. So how you can find out? With the help of this scale. Okay. You can measurement like this. Otherwise is this is given here area is equal to 1 square centimeter. That means 1 square 1 centimeter ke barabar hai. So you can count. If you are going to measurement it, it will come 5 centimeter. Okay. Otherwise, count the boxes. So, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, 5 cm. Here is 7. So, 7 cm. This side is 5 and this side is 7. Like this garden also, 3 cm, 5 cm, 3 and 5. If you count the boxes, boxes is given 1 square cm. So, it will come same. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, 5 cm. Otherwise, you can use the scale also. Now see the first one. What is the area of the ground ABC? ABC. Okay. So A, B, C and D. This one. Not the inside. Inside is a different figure. So A, B, C, D. So area is equal to length multiply with breadth. So 5 cm is length and the breadth is 7 cm. 5 multiply with 7 that is 35 square cm. According to our Formula area. Now see the second one. Here is asking find the area of the garden E F G H. Now this is the garden figure E F G and H. This is garden. So three centimeter is a length and five centimeter is a breadth. 
So area is equal to length multiply with breadth 3 multiply with 5 cm so 15 square meter. Here you have to notice student what in this question is asking 1 square meter is what is told this question 1 square meter it's not centimeter so you have to give the answer in a meter not centimeter question mein jo mention kya hota hai usi according hum log iska answer we find out karte hain so in a meter not in a centimeter okay so 15 square meter now see on the next page in the third question is asking what is the area of the path what is the area of a path so let's see in a figure so where is the path path is this inside of this okay ground and this garden garden ne ground ke beech mein jo hai wo hai path means road hai garden mein jane ka so five, count the squares okay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. So these are total 20 square. So area is equal to 1 square box. So 1 square matlab 1 box x square ka hai. So answer is 20 square meter. So area is 20 square meter of this path. Now see the third one. Find the perimeter of the following figure. You can see these are figures are given here. We are going to find out the perimeter. Okay, notice it. So perimeter me kya ho karna parta? All side that we have to add. And this you can see this is a square. Square hai, ek side diya hai. That means square ka sub side equal hote. 1 centimeter. So this one also 1. This one also 1. This one. So all side is 1 1 centimeter. Okay, because this is a square. Now 1 cm is this side. So count all the side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Otherwise a square have only 4 side. So this is the 3 square. So 4, 3 is a 12. So 1 side is a 1 cm. That means 12 side have a 12 square cm. So 12 cm. Now see the second one. This is, is a rectangle these two rectangles is given here so here is the length is 1 cm and breadth is 3 cm so you know all the rectangle have two side equal so this is 1 cm that means this side also 1 cm breadth is to 3 cm so this side also 3 cm like this this box also this rectangle also you have to measurement 3 cm so this side right the 3 cm 1 decimal 1 point 5 cm so this is also 1.5 cm now add all the measurement so you will get the perimeter so if you add all the measurement you will get 17 cm after this see the fourth number find the area of the shaded portion in the following figure you can see this is the portion is given here and we are going to find out only the area of shaded portion not the all portion okay so what we have to do first we have to find out the shaded path measurement so this is telling ki from this side to this side is 5 cm and only the blank part is 3 cm according to this if shaded and blank part is 5 cm and this side only 3 so 5 minus 3 it will come 2 cm is shaded part of the breadth and length is this is a rectangle shape so rectangle shape if the length is 2 cm this side so this side also equal so 2 cm this side length and breadth of the shading part only the shading part I am telling length and breadth the shading part is 2 cm so area is equal to length multiply with breadth 2 cm length and 2 cm is breadth so 2 cm 2 cm multiply with 2 to 4 square cm is the area of the shaded part only the shaded part okay not in a blank part here is only the this area is a shaded part hope you understood this practice it and complete your workbook thank you